The Clinic of Dr. Gross, 1875, Thomas Egan's, also known as the Gross Clinic. This oil on canvas depicts the 70-year-old Professor Dr. Samuel D. Gross lecturing a group of Jefferson Medical College students, among which Egan's included himself. Over the doctor's shoulder also can be seen Dr. Franklin West, the clinic clerk, taking notes on the operation. This painting acquired an important role as historical document since it depicts in surgical theater of the 19th century as well the new vision over the procedure as a healing conservative technique. Witnessed by Egan's, this surgery intends to treat a young man for osteomyelitis of the femur. The dramatic figure of the woman functions as a strong contrast to the calm demeanor of the people surrounding the patient in a depict of the control and the confidence supposed to rule over medicine. Professionals, rejected by the centennial exhibition in Philadelphia, it was displayed in Ward 1 of the U.S. Army Post Hospital. The critical reception was full of controversy, probably because most critics are a bunch of pussies with no stomach, but I digress. Restored three times, the first restoration in later 10 substantially damaged the painting. Glued to a plywood backing in the 40s, the painting started to tear itself apart leading to the second restoration, which was described as a rescue mission, being used even a power plane as a remover tool. In 2009 the last restoration was conducted, correcting the damage from the first using a ink wash copy from Eakins himself and a photograph taken by the Metropolitan Museum of Art, while the painting was still intact. Subscribe for more shorts like this. Bye for now.